It is the Tuesday snowstorm edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. I'm recording this uh, about 2 o'clock this afternoon, and here's how things are progressing as we speak. Everything is kind of behaving as we expected. The snow began in most places again around midday. It was light at first. Now it's getting a little more intense. Let me uh, zoom in on uh, northeast Ohio and western Pennsylvania at this hour. I'll pause the animation here. We got a, a pretty hefty, a moderate band of snow that extends uh, from uh, the Alliance and Canton areas right up through uh, the southeastern part of Mahoning County, northwestern part of Lawrence County, uh, parts of Mercer County. This is where the heaviest snow is at this hour. Now, thankfully, it is the middle of the day, and even though the sun is, of course, not shining, it's still up there, and it's about as high in the sky as it's going to get all day today, and that helps to melt some of this snow as it uh, as it does fall. I think as we get closer to sunset this evening, and certainly after dark, the snow will have a much easier time sticking on paved surfaces Right now, most of the accumulation is occurring on non-paved surfaces, car tops and, and uh, grassy surfaces, things like that. That's uh, the way the radar looks uh, nearby as I zoom back out. It's a big storm, a lot of rain and a lot of mixed precipitation with this. Uh, these pink colors indicate some sleet and freezing rain in Pennsylvania. And then it's just a cold rain down into the southeast. Our actual storm is right here in the panhandle of uh, Florida. It's taking a northeastward track. It's going to produce some severe thunderstorms in parts of Florida over the next couple of hours. But, of course, our concern is the snow, and uh, things are going to get worse before they get better. That is for sure. Let me take off all of the current information, and uh, we'll talk about what's going to happen as we go into the future. I'll bring up a high-resolution computer model, which will give us an idea of what the radar should look like as we go through time. I'm going to start this animation with 3 o'clock this afternoon. This will all show up as green, but uh, it is snow, of course, not uh, not rain. And uh, especially uh, from, say, Canton on north through Austintown and up through uh, Vienna and uh, into the eastern half of Mercer County. Uh, this is where the kind of the back edge is probably going to be lingering at about 3 o'clock this afternoon. So we go through time and towards, so let's say, uh, 6 o'clock this evening, uh, when hopefully all of us are hunkered down. This is when the storm is going to be getting really bad, I think, across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys, with moderate to heavy snow around and uh, perhaps even a little bit heavier down here towards Steubenville, uh, Weirton, East Liverpool. Now, some of this this evening may actually be mixed precipitation. The closer you are to Caddis and Wheeling and Washington and Pittsburgh, this zone could have some sleet and perhaps even a change over to rain for a time. But I'll tell you, especially once you're north of Route 30, uh, this is just this is all snow. We don't have to worry about mixed precipitation. So here we are at uh, 6 o'clock this evening. It's pretty bad then. Let's go forward to 10 o'clock this evening. Light to moderate snow still out there. The back edge uh, lined up just east of I-71 and uh, pretty close to I-77. Moderate snow all of the valley. It's going to be snowing at a, a pretty good clip here at 9 o'clock this evening. And then the last frame available here is at 11 o'clock this evening. And again, not much has changed. Moderate snow, accumulating snow with the heaviest precipitation, say, uh, east of I-79 in PA. But again, some of this is likely to be mixed precipitation the closer you are to Pittsburgh. Uh, but uh, for Youngstown and most of our viewing area, this is just an all-snow event. That much is for certain. I'm going to switch models here. We'll talk about tomorrow. As we get up and around tomorrow morning, at, uh, let's let's stop this at 7 a.m. Notice there's not much going on. Uh, there will be some flurries around, some snow showers, but the bulk of the uh, steady precipitation is pushed off to the east. There's a big hole in the action through here. Everything's much more kind of splotchy and scattered, not nearly as well organized daybreak tomorrow. Let's go to uh, tomorrow afternoon, middle of the afternoon. The radar, or the uh, the predicted radar, not showing much, but I do suspect there's going to be some, some flurries around, some lake effect enhanced uh, bands here and there as well. The model's not picking up real well on that. All the way through tomorrow evening, I think we're fair game to see these bands of lake effect. Now, who gets more accumulations tomorrow, additional accumulations? I think any of us could see another inch or two tomorrow, but the best chance for a few inches, up to three or four, is it's going to be north of I-80, up into Trumbull County, uh, perhaps Mercer County as well. That's where you have the best chance of seeing a few inches worth of additional snow on Wednesday. Everyone's getting several inches of snow tonight. Wednesday, not everyone's going to see a, a lot more. Some of us may get an inch or two, best chance of three or four. That'll be up closer to the uh, snow belts on Wednesday. All right, as far as our uh, snow forecast, uh, some good news in this department. The midday models are backing off a little bit on the total snowfall amount across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. A little bit, I should say. 
I think our 5 to 10 is still good, but I'm less concerned now than I was yesterday that more of us will come in close to 10 as opposed to 5. I think now it's going to be kind of an uneven split. There'll be a lot of backyards that are closer to 5. There'll be a lot of backyards that are closer to 10. Some will be right in the middle. But yesterday I was concerned that uh, you know 90% of the area was going to get pretty close to 10. Uh, thankfully, I'm, I'm becoming a little less concerned about that. So this is the uh, high-resolution rapid refresh uh, computer model snow prediction through 2 o'clock in the morning. So this isn't the whole storm, but through 2 a.m. And by 2 o'clock, this has us, uh, the purple area is 6 inches plus. This has a good 6-inch area throughout so just about the entire valley. Now, the farther northwest of Youngstown you are, the less snow you're going to see out of this storm. Kind of the opposite sometimes of what you think might be true. So by daybreak tomorrow, northwestern Trumbull County might have three inches on the ground. But the closer you are to Warren and then especially Youngstown and points south and east, uh, there's going to be a lot of backyards with six, seven, seven and a half, eight inches. So uh, that's the rapid refresh. Here's the European. Uh, this is hot off the presses, just came in, and this is uh, through daybreak on Wednesday. Again, purple areas, six inches plus. The purple line goes right through central or west central Mercer County, right through central Mahoning County into western Columbiana County, and then everyone east of there gets six inches plus. With lower amounts, the farther west away from Warren and Youngstown you are. So again, storm totals, not counting lake effect, just from the snow tonight in northwestern Trumbull County might only be a few inches. But then you get close to Warren, Niles, Austin Town, Youngstown, most places are going to see five inches plus out of this. But fewer places will get 10 than I thought yesterday, so a little good news there. As far as the bigger picture, if we if we zoom out and take a look at uh, kind of the, uh, the regional view here, if it will come up, well, I wanted to show you a view of all of uh, the Northeast, but it uh, looks like maybe my, my browser locked up. Well, that's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you, though, that Western New York, oh, there we go. I need to take my drawing tool off. It's Western New York, West Central New York, heading up into uh, parts of uh, Quebec and Ontario. That's where the bullseye is going to be. There's going to be a lot of places to get a foot up near the Finger Lakes and Rochester, heading up towards uh, Watertown and places such as that. But the, the you know, the, the areas that have a good chance of getting a foot maybe don't quite reach the WFMG viewing area, but it'll be close up towards Bradford, PA, uh, perhaps over towards Clarion and Dubois. Might uh, see some places get a foot of snow out of this. So this is the broad view of accumulations uh, expected for this storm for the rest of today and tonight. Be a little additional lake effect coming our way for tomorrow and into tomorrow night. Beyond that, uh, Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving's map and not much is going to be going on. Maybe there's some flurries around, probably no accumulations out of this. Just going to be a, a cold Thanksgiving. And then uh, Friday, shoppers, be prepared for lower teens for temperatures at the start of the day Friday. Wow, is it going to be cold? And it's just going to stay below average, but quiet through the weekend. So travelers, Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. It's another very busy travel day coming up on Sunday as everyone leaves their destination and gets back to work. Weather looks quiet for that, so that certainly is some good news. And that's weather for Weather Geeks on this uh, Tuesday. Lots of updates uh, still to come on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Check out my blog, ericwfmj.com. Uh, I'm always posting some good information there. And, of course, uh, you can uh, check out my fresh forecast tonight on 21 News at 6 and 11. We'll see you then.